Hello, everybody. It's Rachel at Lamb. Um, today I'm wearing my blue gloves because I got a cut on my finger and this is going to be a little bit messy. We'll see. I'm hoping this works. So today we're going to be painting an ornament. So I didn't really specify what we would be painting or what kind of ornament this would be. But um, because I was lazy when I was putting in the details. But you're going to be excited. Hopefully you're going to be excited. Oh, I was going to show you my um, uh, example, but I left it upstairs. So we're just going to have to wing it. Um, so, yeah, here I am, two by two, hands of blue, you know. If you came in and got your kit, um, this is what it should look like. It's going to tell you what's included in there and then when this program is. Um, we, The only thing I said you really need at home is newspaper for sure so you don't get a mess. I am wearing an apron because I don't want to get paint on me. And um, I got scissors. So make sure to have those things and your kit. Um, I think I only have three spots left. So that means I have three kits left. If anybody didn't get one who wants to sign up just let me know okay um so in the kit it's gonna be a bag of white paint okay one bag of white paint and then a little pot of blue paint okay and then what else is in here this i put in we're gonna see if we need to use it this was for funneling because we're gonna put the white paint into the ornament um, but we'll see if we need it. Uh, let's see. We have, I gave you guys two ornaments, okay? So you get two chances to make beautiful ornaments. So just put some of And then, what else is in here? A uh, paintbrush. And if you've done any of the other programs before, you probably have more of these. So if you need that, like... We have a paintbrush. And then I gave you a candy cane because it's the holidays. Um, a little treat just so that you can have some. I also um, recommend you having some um, paper towels or napkins or something to put your paintbrush on. So let's see. First thing we're going to do is take an ornament out of this little plastic. going to open it up so we're going to just pull off the lid or the I don't know what this is called if you do just let me know um if you have any questions as always please just comment on the post and I'll answer them um let's see I'm sure a lot of you will be watching this not live because you're at work or doing something else and if you have any questions post live, just email me, okay? So for the white, we're going to just massage it down to the corner of the bag. Because we're going to do, hopefully it's going to work. We're going to do it like you would um, uh, frosting out of a frosting bag. That's what we can do. So just push the paint down to one corner of the bag. And we want to make sure we have enough paint for both of our ornaments, so don't use all of it in the first ornament. Hi, Abril. Um, I do have, I believe, I believe I have four kits left, and if you need like four or five, I could pot. I probably can put a few more together. So just let me know how many and email me and I can get those together, okay? No problem. Okay. And here at Lamb, we do have a few other kits. Right now I have a holiday, um, holiday treat bag for the kids. Uh, we have a Festivus kit that's from Rawlings. It's really cool. Um, we also have world holiday so whatever you want just 
let me know. We they are limited supply. Just shoot me an email or call us here at Liam and we can see what we got. Okay. Thanks, April. Okay. So let me see. I'm gonna take this. Like I said, we're gonna massage the paint onto the bottom. And then this is when it's gonna start getting messy because I'm going to put my ornament here and I'm going to cut a hole at the bottom. And then hopefully we can just squeeze it into our ornament. Like I said, only squeeze about half of the white into it because we want it for the other ornament too. Let's see. And it doesn't take much because what we're going to do is, I hope that's enough. What we're going to do is put the lid back on it. I'll call this a lid because I don't know what this is called. If I don't. And then we're going to shake it. This is fun part. We're just going to shake it till the white has. Thankfully, it's plastic. It's not glass. Don't worry. We're not going to shatter it. Hopefully, unless I have too much strength. I'm going to shake it till the whole thing is white. As you can see, I still have some that's not white. Oh. So. Uh. Just keep shaking. This kind of is good for, like, getting some work out, some anxiety out. Just a little bit of shaking. You know, if you have an Apple Watch, you're getting your your steps in. <laughs> Sorry, that's just a joke. Me and my sisters always do that. We just, when we had Apple Watches to get our steps. That's cheating, I know. Okay. Shake, 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 Sonora. Yes, Linda, this is recorded. It will be on Facebook and YouTube, both. You can get the recording on both so you can watch it over again or whenever you want to. So one thing I am seeing when I'm shaking is that a little bit of it is coming out at the top. So you might get some white paint on you, don't worry. For some reason I have one spot that doesn't want to be white. Maybe I didn't put enough paint in there. Maybe I need to slap it a little bit. The reason we're putting it inside is so that we don't have to wait to paint the ornament white and then it would have to dry to be able to paint the outside. But the cool part about these clear ornaments is you can put anything in there. Oh, well, there I am denting it. So I'm gonna let that one sit on its side, on the side that, like that, and then I'm gonna do the other one so that we can finish with the white paint. Um, so it's not a big mess. So I'm gonna take the white paint, oh, make sure to get where my hole is, and just squeeze it in there. I think I have more. I could possibly open my other one and put some more in there, but you know what? I'm already making a big mess. This is this is fun. The fun part of crafts is just making a huge mess. Okay, so I'm gonna put the lid on this one. Okay, and then shake it. I think I might have put more paint in this one, so it might work a little bit better. Shake it off. Shake, shake. Oh, I was just. I can't sing Tay Tay. Okay. Oh, yep. I put more paint in there. So as you be a little bit careful, or a lot bit careful, because the paint is definitely coming out of the top of this. So make sure you're in somewhere that you don't mind a little bit of paint getting on it. It is acrylic. It is um, water soluble, so you should be able to get it off. But. Just be extra safe, okay? I don't want you guys getting paint everywhere. Okay, so that one did really good, so I must have put a good amount of white in there. This one is almost there. I'm gonna actually open it up and put the rest of the white paint in there. Because I 
want it to be perfect. Okay. A perfect mess. Oh gosh. It's bending things. How's everybody's going along? Have we had any issues? Like me? I'm bending my thing. We're good. These things bend pretty easily. Well, that's fun. Okay, so I'm actually going to take a little wipey and wipe off the outside because I definitely got some um, paint on the outside because it's all over my gloves, so, you know. That's, that's how I do. So we didn't need the little funnel. It worked out making it like a little frosting bag. So that's the technique I'm gonna use from now on, which is cool. Okay. I'm gonna kind of wipe off the white off my gloves because so next step is the blue. So if you can't, if you don't know yet, we're we are making like um china or porcelain like um painting. So I did not bring my um, my example down, so I'm gonna just paint from like just my mind, I guess. I don't know. I hope I can paint flowers. So we're gonna paint like flowers or designs. I don't know if you've ever done like henna before, because you can do little henna designs. What we're gonna do is open our little blue paint. Ooh, get it all over me. Make sure your hands are clean before you grab your ornament because then you're going to smudge it. But I'm going to open my little blue paint. And I'm going to take my detail brush. I'm going to take my first one and I'm just going to hold it from the bottom and the top so I can hopefully paint around. This thing is kind of in my way. And I'm going to start by doing a little design. Let's see. We can do like dot flowers. And I'm going to start with a dot. And then I'm going to. I really like the look of it when it has like circles, kind of like evil eyes, I guess. I'm going to do another circle. Can you guys see it? My lighting is a little bit dark today. Let's see. So you don't need too much paint because it will run. Just like the perfect amount. Get this. So then I'm going to pull some legs. There we go. I kind of look like an alien flower right now. I said I'm just doing this from memory of doing my last one and hopefully but it's like this is something you can do any kind of flower any kind of design you know if you have like certain things you like you can paint it but um I don't know how to say it I think it's chi like China um porcelain something else but I'm just going to make mine unique and I hope everybody else thinks theirs unique as well. I put little dots here. I have a friend who does really great henna and so sometimes I get inspired by the way she does her henna to make little designs. Painting is a good way to practice because henna is so messy and then you stain yourself and then you're stuck with it on your skin for two weeks. <laughs> but here's my first little flower, I guess you could say. Star. Sun. Maybe it's a sun. Ooh, I should do a moon. Thanks, guys. Okay, I'm gonna do a moon now. I see there's about five people watching. Let me know who you, who you are. Hey, Paula, thank you so much. I love this craft. I'm really excited. 
I'm gonna do a crescent moon. Well, I'm gonna attempt. That's what I should always say. I'm going to attempt. Oh yeah. Okay, that's funny. Well, it's fine. It's gonna be great. I'm just gonna. Oh gosh. So it takes a a steady hand. I smeared it a little bit. It's fine. Like I said, this is about the journey. I'm gonna make a little star right here. Well, I'm gonna try to make a little star there. There are little stars. Hmm. Like I said, whatever you want to put on there, it's going to be cute. Anything special to you. Stars, moons, flowers, um, anything you like. Put some dots in there, because dots are always cute. Put some dots. There's my moon. Okay, I'm going to turn... Uh, maybe I'll put a flower. I'm getting the blue paint everywhere, you guys. So I say on every video, it's not about being perfect. It's about the journey, I guess. <laughs> so don't worry. Let's see. Though I'm a perfectionist, I'm going to make a flower. One... Maybe this is like a four leaf clover. <laughs> kind of like that. Ooh, I think I have a little bit too much paint on my paintbrush right now. Some more leaves. Everybody loves a leaf on their flowers. So yeah, um, you can put, if you want to just do flowers, you can put as many flowers around it as you want. You can do it like I'm doing and doing many different options. I'm just showing you um, options that you can do to make it cute. It's going to be cute no matter what, but, you know. If you want to write something on there, you can. I don't know how cute that will be, though. It's up to you. Mm -hmm. Kind of like that. Um, I'm going to do some, yeah, some lines. Okay. Hard for me to look at the ornament and paint and also make sure it's in the view of you guys on the camera but i think i'm doing okay i'm gonna put some lines on my leaves as you can see well that messed up the rhythm of it but you know what I ain't mad about it. Yeah, I really like that. Come on, light. I need my light over here because I'm Okay, let me hold it. I'm just going to hold it from its little thing. So it doesn't work. See if I can get my light closer. 
There. Not kick the camera. So now I have a moon, or a moon, a sun, and a flower. I'm just gonna go to keep putting things on there. Basically, just until you feel like it has enough things on there. Um, I just love the dot, the dot technique. It's fun. If I had a steadier hand, random obscure flower, I guess. I put some more stars around it since I like stars. It's just like a flower design. Like to fill in the holes, you can put dots, like the blank spaces. You can put stars. Oh, well, if I can do more of a detail brush, but put dots. And the acrylic dries pretty fast, which is good. Maybe put something. What do I want to put here? Some stars. I'm gonna just outline this one. Kind of be like a small flower, I guess. Oh, hope you can even see what I'm doing. Just like that. Just fill in the blank spaces, basically. everybody's at least having fun. That's my main hope. <laughs> if you want it to just be completely full of dots, that's also an option. Kind of looks like this is a galaxy. Maybe it's a space themed one. Maybe mine is space themed. That'd be nice. And put some little or some little um if it is space themed, these are the little planets orbiting. There they are. Cluster of stars. So cute. So I have my galaxy and then a, a flower. 
It's like the orchid in the new show Picard. If anybody's seen that, space orchids. If you haven't seen Picard, you should. A little bit disappointed in my mood, but it's okay. Like I said, just fill in the blank spaces with whatever. It's gonna be cute. Lines, dots. you don't have to fill it completely you can just do it as much as you think and then leave it and if you need to come back later and put more you can mm -hmm. there's a couple spaces I want to put some more stars Planets. I'll just call them planets now. Mm. I smudged mine a little bit. Be careful about smudging. Kind of messy sometimes. But as you can see, it looks pretty decorated to me. I'm pretty happy with it. You can always put a design on the bottom if you want. Ooh, I'm kicking the camera. Let's see. I'm just going to put a big planet with some rings. There you go. And then some dots. Mm, I'm pretty happy with it. I'll put it on my tree. No, it's a little big for my tree. I only have a tiny one. How's everybody else doing? Do you have your ornament decorated? Like I said, with any flowers, stars, moons, design that you want to. I'm pretty happy with how mine looks. Um, if you have any questions, concerns, let me know. I'm deciding if I want to paint my other one right now. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to see how I can set this without getting making a big mess. But oh, if it's dry enough, you might be able to put it in the cup to dry. I'm just gonna do that. <laughs> it's already mine's a little bit messy already, so I think it should be fine. And then I'm gonna hmm. I don't know what I should theme the second one since that one I kind of did space. Maybe just flowers, floral. Ooh, maybe I'll do some ferns. I don't know if I can draw a fern. Let's see. Let's see what I can do. I'm testing myself. Well, this is going to be a leaf.
And then I'm gonna do a little flower off the leaf. It'll be a funny looking flower, but let's see. <laughs> it's funny. Ooh, I kind of like it. Oops, don't spill my paint. I'm going to do the flower over here too. looks like an alien creature no matter how I tried to get away from space and back to space because this this is definitely an alien creature yeah okay don't get it everywhere I'm gonna paint a flower here One alien flower coming up. Kind of like a banana. Draw the leaves. Oh, or having fun with this. That's the most important thing. I'm trying not to get paint all over me. That was kind of cool, I think. Absorbed in my design, silently painting. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Ooh, I like it. Hopefully, I didn't ruin my other one by dropping it, but. 
think it should have dried enough that it's not going to be ruined. You never know. Okay, I'm going to draw some leaves. I think I like it. Maybe some sort of... There's a varnish thing. Let's do some of those in that empty space. Just a line and then some lines. Well, an attempt. <laughs> okay. Maybe some holly. We'll just say it's holly. Yeah. All right, I think my floral ornaments is looking pretty festive. I'll put a few dots in the empty space. Be careful, like I said, because the inside paint isn't dry and it's going to come out, especially if you have it upside down like I did with mine. So be careful. I'm just going to not ruin my ornament. Well, I smashed it a little bit. <laughs> okay. But this one came out pretty cute. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, share your pictures of how your ornaments came out. Uh, let me know if you need anything or if you have any questions or need more supplies. Um, I think that's all I have for today. Uh, like I said, I'm here at Lamb and I have holiday kits for kids and I got a couple of these left. Um, and let me see. Next program I have is going to be in January, so happy Christmas, happy Hanukkah, happy Kwanzaa, happy holidays. Hopefully you guys stay safe and um, have um, be happy. Uh, the 2021, let's hope some good things happen in 2021. I have hope that there will be a lot of blessings, um, but I do have think two crafts going on in January so look out for those and um, thank you for watching and coming today and um, yeah have a blessed holiday bye everybody